today's spooky spot, we're having a look at the Diamond Select Toys, Universal Studios, home of the original monsters. We're looking at the Creature from the Black Lagoon 4-pack. This 4-pack features the Creature from the Black Lagoon, a glow-in-the-dark version of, glow of the Creature from the Black Lagoon, as well as Dr. Reed and Kay Lawrence. Or also looks like Gene Davis. On the side, we have a picture of the four Minimates. And on the back, the four Minimates there as well. As for the read-up, it says the creature was originally introduced to the movie audience in the 1954 horror classic, The Creature from the Black Lagoon. He was discovered out of an expedition to the Amazon led, led by Dr. Carl Maya. Maya? The journey turns out to be a deadly for many of the expedition, and maybe even for the creature itself. This box set includes the creature in both classic colors and the exclu in exclusive glow-in-the-dark version, along with the heroic Dr. Reed in diving gear and exclusive Kay Lawrence in her famous swimsuit. Each mini-mate stands 2 inches tall with 14 points of articulation and a variety of removable and interchangeable parts and accessories. What? You want to see what else is included from the good folks at Diamond Select? Well, you can also go to www.diamondselecttoys.com or you can also go to www.artasylum.com. What I am going to do is take a bit of a terrifying break. I'm going to unleash these four mini mates out of their package, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the four mini mates. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned. We'll first start this review with having a look at Kay Lawrence. Let's zoom into her. You can see that she's got her famous white bikini on there. Looking very nice. Hair done really, really well on this mini mate. Spot keeps joking by saying she looks like um, Gina Davis, but even in mini mate form, that could totally pass as Gina Davis. Totally. All we would need now is uh, Samuel Jackson. We could recreate the Long Kiss Goodnight, which very underrated, very underrated action movie. If you haven't seen the Long Kiss Goodnight, check it out. She plays a, an assassin with a amnesia. Very nice. Um, one thing with the mini mates, not only her but also Dr. Reed, um, the skin color is a little bit different as well, being that they're a little more tanned. But uh, I really thought they, I think they did a fantastic job. She's also barefoot, you can see as well. Her articulation is the same with any other mini mate. Uh, she has a ball joint head that moves up and down, left and right. Sometimes when you move a mini mate, obviously her hair always, the hair always seems to tend to want to move as well. Uh, ball jointed shoulders. You can also rotate the arms back and forth, bend at the elbow, rotation in the little tiny mini mate hands. There goes the hair again. Keep it together, keep it together. Rotation in the waist, legs go out, back and forth via a ball joint in there as well, a bend at the knee, and a rotation in the little tiny mini mate foot. Uh, I think that's a really neat looking mini mate. I would almost say, of the of the set, of the set, I would almost say she's probably the best of the lot. Obviously, right after um, the creature from the Black Lagoon. If you're really only going to get two, I would say that this is probably a good pair to get. And then Kay Lawrence, I'm going to give her a very scary 7.5. Moving aside, let's have a look at Dr. Reed. Dr. Reed! Now, Dr. Reed is sporting an oxygen tank, scuba tank there. He's also got himself some flippers. Now the flippers unfortunately make it a little harder for him to stand, being the fact that he's got these on. Um, sadly, of the alternate pieces, he doesn't come with any feet. I suppose if you wanted to, you could... I really would hate to take it away from uh, Kay Lawrence here. I suppose if you wanted to, you could swip, switch out the two if you wanted feet on him. But He also does have a pretty good head sculpt. And you can take his hair and remove his hair. Remove his hair. Oops. And there it goes on the floor. Of course. He does also have an alternate hair, but this hair also comes with a goggled face. The paint is seems a little slightly off. 
The eye is also seem a little smaller, but you can kind of excuse it. Okay, maybe he, it's because he's got he's his face is in the goggles. They're a little distorted, but uh, a pretty good look. Still a pretty good look. You could also take the. It looks like you can take the oxygen tank off as well if you wanted to. You just have, would have to remove the head, um, and also. If you take apart the body, you could also remove his little belt with knife. So you get a lot of extra things on Dr. Reed, all of which seem to be removable. I like that quite a bit. I just would have been nice if they had actually included extra feet as well. Dr. Reed, I'm going to give him a very scary 7.5. And then finally, oh, and also, Spot also was going to forget, guaranteed he was going to forget, Dr. Reed also comes with a harpoon gun, which uh, you can put in his hand, like so. Unfortunately, the harpoon is a little warped. With a little bit of heat, you could probably bend that back into shape. There's Dr. Reed. And finally, moving into the actual creature mini-mates. For starters, let's have a look at the glow-in-the-dark version. The glow-in-the-dark version is the exact same as the regular colored version of the creature. Obviously, except for the fact that this one will glow. I don't mind the glow-in-the-dark version, but it just seems like it's very... There's really not a lot going on with it. I don't know if it will even glow in the dark. I probably have more... I probably require a little more light on it for that to happen. But uh, he's not bad. He's not bad. I find one thing with this figure, with this mini mate, is that this one foot keeps wanting to fall off. You can see as well that they've applied an upper torso extra piece to the, the creature, giving him that scaled effect on the on his chest area there. They also have given him scaled uh, arms and or scaled hands and also scaled feet. Again, sure, some people like the glow in the dark fig versions of figures. I generally don't. I'm not really a big big fan. Uh, if given the option between the two, I would much prefer the uh, the original version here. Pretty good on the face, like the scale work. All of which, all these details, I find just get a little lost when you start looking at the glow-in-the-dark version. Now some would say, obviously, Spot, that's not a big deal because it glows in the dark. Well, yes, it does glow in the dark. Uh, articulation would be the same on the mini mate, on the creature mini mate as the other mini mate. So rotation in the head. Of course, he's not going to have as much movement in the head because his torso is much larger and beefier than that of, like, for example, K. Lawrence here. Um, but uh, I mean, still all the same articulation for the most part. You can also, if you get the mini mate just right. You can also have him holding K. Lawrence. Crudely, yes. She would also lose her hair, unfortunately. Let's put that hair back on. But uh, still nice. I still like it. Uh, the original creature, I'm going to give him an 8.5. The glow-in-the-dark version, I think I'm only going to give him an 8. Your, your preference, really, I still prefer the original more so. There you have it, my friends. Today's spooky spot, let's move the camera back a little bit. Today's spooky spot, we're having a look at the four mini mates. Ah, there goes his foot again. Get yourself together, man. Get yourself together. There we go. Today we're having a look at the four mini mates that make up this set. Spot was having a look at the four mini mates that included Kay Lawrence, whose hair keeps wanting to fall off. Kay Lawrence, Dr. Reed, and the two creatures that make up this set. Thanks for watching as you always do guys, certainly stick around more spooky spots are heading your way. And of course, as always, I'll see you next time. Woo!